This morning we're going to read and learn a passage from the prophet of Jonah. The book of Jonah, the prophet of Jonah is the fifth minor book and minor prophet out of 12. And in this book we will learn about how Jonah was sent to Nineveh by the Lord to make them repent and to bring them back to the Lord so that they may be saved. Do you think when Jonah was charged to go Nineveh, the, the land of the arch enemy, was he very excited to go there? The Lord, I'm ready, I'm very enthusiastic to go there to make them repent. No. He really hated that assignment. So even though Nineveh, the greatest city in Assyria, was located in the northeastern part from the land of Palestine, the land of Canaan, but Jonah was heading for west coast. And he clearly showed his level of hatred, his level of dislike regarding that mission given from the Lord. And when he went to Zopa on the west coast, he found a ship uh, bound for Tarshish. And then he jumped into the ship and then he started his journey. And obviously he was heading for completely the opposite way. What is a prophet's job? What they supposed to do? They supposed to bring the words of the Lord to the people, and by doing this, the prophets could bring the presence of the Lord among the people. So it is a very important job. But Jonah didn't want to do that this time. Even though Jonah was a great prophet, he was a very good man, but he didn't like this specific assignment. Because he was told to go to and to convert his arch enemies. And the Lord sent a very mighty tempest. So all the sailors in the ship became very scared because they perhaps they never seen that extraordinary, very powerful and mighty tempest. So all they prayed to their gods so that their gods may save them. And then we're going to read what happened after that. Then the man, the sailors, were exceedingly afraid and said to him, Jonah, Why have you done this? For the man knew that he fled from the presence of the Lord because he had told them, he said, What should we you that the sea may be calm for us? For the sea was growing more tempestuous. And he said to them, Pick me up and throw me into the sea. Then the sea will become calm for you. For I know that this great tempest is because of me. Nevertheless, the man rode harder to return to land. But they could not, for the sea continued to grow more tempestuous against them. Therefore they cried out to the Lord and said, We pray, O Lord, please do not let us perish for this man's life, and do not charge us with innocent blood. For you, O Lord, have done as it pleased you. So they picked up Jonah and threw him in. And the sea ceased from its raging. Then the man feared the Lord exceedingly and offered a sacrifice to the Lord and took vows. Then the Lord had prepared a great fish to swallow Jonah. And Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. So the people, the sailors saw very unusual tempest. They tried to find out what was the reason. And they heard from Jonah, he was 
someone to blame. And even though uh, they also cast lots to find out, to pinpoint who was the problem. And Jonah was chosen. So they actually try everything they could. They throw away all the cargoes to lighten the ship. And they rode very hard to get to the land. But every attempt didn't work. So finally, they had to throw Jonah into the sea. Then what happened? Do you think he drowned in the sea? He died somehow? The Lord prepared a very big fish. And the big fish was waiting for Jonah's coming down. And when he was thrown into the sea, this big fish go and eat the person, eat the prophet Jonah. So he was swallowed. Jonah was swallowed by the big fish. So he was staying there in the belly of the fish for three days and three nights. Can you see Jonah here? Maybe not. He must be deep inside. So in this way, he was saved. So he had a pretty quiet time in there for three days. And then he came to realization. He did wrong. He had to follow the command of the Lord. Then he repented and he was ready. Actually, the big fish threw him out, out of his belly to the land. So Jonah was charged to go to Nineveh again, and he did this time. Sometimes we try to be good and do nice things, but sometimes we don't think about other people and their needs. We are not that thoughtful and considerate sometimes. So for example, you have a great, beautiful, and amazing encyclopedia in your house. And all your family members love to look up the information there. And your parents and your brothers and sisters love to look up something there. It's, it's very useful. So you take it very precious. And your house rule is not to lend it to anybody outside of my, our family members. And one of your friends heard about it, and he couldn't get certain information on the internet and approached you. Can I borrow that book, Encyclopedia, to do my homework, to find some necessary information? And what would you like to say? Because you want to keep your house lure saying, nope, I cannot do that. Perhaps that's the best decision for you in that time, but your friend became very hurtful and disappointed. And more important thing is he couldn't get the necessary information he was seeking. Later, perhaps you requested something to another friend and your offer, your request was turned down. Then you may come to realization. Perhaps I had to do something different. I had to deal with my friend and his request different way. So Jonah was shut in the belly of the big fish for three days, and that gave him the opportunity to think about, uh, about his own decision, what he did wrong, and he repented. So even though we make the perfect decisions in a certain time, in a certain place, but when we get mature and when we know and when we learn more things, we may feel that was not quite right. Perhaps we could do something and differently. Perhaps we could invite a friend to come to us and we can look up the book together to find that information even though I may not lend the book to the person. And many times we do our best to be nice and good, but sometimes we need to go beyond our personal boundary 
and our own ideas because the Lord wants us to be more inclusive, reach out to other people, to help other people, and to love other people. And when we do this, we become the people of the Lord, the Lord's people. Amen.